This video will demonstrate the distributed simulation capabilities of Symphony Tool. We're using the collaborative modeling functionality, and we can see we have three collaborators in our project, and they have all shared a file, emergencycoordination.cml. Now, if we try opening that file, we see that it just defines some common channels, chance set, and a process which combines the services of the system we're trying to simulate. This is shared among all collaborators in our collaboration project. So we have the police and an ambulance service that are combined. Now we can actually see that this coordinator has no implementation of the police process. It's just an empty process. And the same thing goes for the ambulance process. Now if we switch to our second collaborator, the police service, see that they have received this emergency coordination file through the collaborative modeling functionality and they don't have the ambulance either but they do have an implementation of the police a very simple implementation in this case and if we switch to the third collaborator the ambulance service see that they have no implementation for the police but they do, however, have an implementation for the ambulance. Now switching back once again to our coordinator, having these different implementations of the processes distributed means that we need to do a distributed simulation in order to reveal their behavior. So we launch the distributed simulation. We select the coordinating process, in this case the commonly shared emergency coordination process. We want to animate this simulation such that we can select the events. Then we select the external processes, in this case the ambulance, which Collaborator 3 has the implementation of, and the police process, which Collaborator 2 has the implementation of. And then we can send off the simulation request. Request is sent. Switching to Collaborator 2 of the police service, we see that they receive the request for simulating the process police and we say yes to participate and back at the coordinator we can now see that they have sent back a ready status on the simulation request. The same thing applies for collaborator 3, the ambulance service, which also says yes. And now that all collaborators have agreed, we can now start the simulation. And we can now see we start the simulation on waiting for clients. All the clients on the collaborators, we can see that the simulation now is starting. Back at the coordinator, we can now see that all clients are connecting. And we get presented with the event options we can select in our animator. We can see that our other collaborators are waiting. And we can now select an event on our coordinator. See that it executes down the console. And also back on our collaborators, we get new options and we can select events. The second collaborator, the police service, can also select. What we actually notice is that the service is already finished with its execution, so we're now it's just waiting for the rest of the simulation to end. And the coordinator has now finished its execution and it sends a terminate event to all collaborators. And they terminate. This video shows the distributed simulation functionality of the Symphony tool.